Game Maker Video World Record 100%, let's do this. So let's say you have a vertex format. And it doesn't really matter what you put in it, vertex. Let me just say uh, vertex format add position 3D. And we can say format equals vertex format. And then let's say you have a vertex buffer. Uh, we can say vbuff is going to equal vertex buffer create. Is it vertex create buffer? I think I lost the speed run. And you can you can start putting something in it. You can say vertex begin. Uh, but let's say that instead of actually adding data to it, you just say vertex end. And the, uh, the vertex begin needs a format like that. And that's fine. If you do this, the game will run. It doesn't really matter. Um, okay, it's not being drawn or anything. It's not being submitted. In fact, nothing's being drawn. Um, but the game doesn't crash. It doesn't complain. However, if you were to do something like vertex um, freeze uh, and you try to run the game now, you would find that you would have a little, a little error box popping up. And instead of the usual game maker error, this instead says win32 function failed, h result 0 by 8007-0057, and some, some random error message pointed to, to some random line in some random C++ file. This is, at least for me, the most common DirectX error that you can see. Uh, it is possible to, to generate other DirectX errors in your game maker games if you do something wrong. Uh, things that have to do with breaking the graphics API rather than breaking just GameMaker itself. Uh, and this, this error carried 8007-0057 just happens if you try to freeze a vertex buffer with no vertices in it. If you try to freeze a vertex buffer with no data in it. It won't crash the game, by the way. It'll just cause various random failures, which in some ways is worse than crashing the game. Um, if, if, you ever see this, if you ever see this error code, uh, either comment at the vertex freeze if you know there's no data in it, or ensure that all your vertex buffers actually contain data and you should be good to go. Since this is a direct X error, this may appear differently on different target platforms that you try to run your game on. I have confirmed that if you try to do this on Linux, you won't see an error, it'll just, nothing will happen. Um, and I imagine that other platforms that use OpenGL as the graphics um, API will, will see similar results, that being HTML5, uh, Apple computers, that sort of thing. But if you ever see a box with an error message in it that looks like this, now you know what it means. Two minutes and 27 seconds. That's not bad on my standards. Special thanks to Edward Holt, Emily Coyo, Gunnar Clovis, Posha, Sindra Larson, Square Crow, Tusk, and Zenjamin for supporting these videos. If you want to see your name in the credits or hear yourself shouted out at the end like this, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.